everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. If you recall recently, Kat Liente, a uh, VTuber, uh, not what do you call it? Uh, critiquer, criticizer, hater, whatever you want to call it. Uh, she's definitely a tourist to the whole or uh, group because she doesn't understand that a uh, Lolita, uh, Lolly, in that case, in that case of body type, is actually a thing within the VTuber culture. It is a thing where it is not related to age; it is related to body type. Like, in fact, they have thirty-year-old lollies, lolly babas, lolly hags, as you call them, because of their petite body style, their petite body type. Anyone petite in Japan would have be called a like a lolly. Uh, body type that's what it'd be called now over here in the west you have the bad ones the pdf files that are lollicops and stuff like that that actually go after uh prepubescent girls which is kind of weird it's more than kind of weird it's just wrong but we're going past that but that's what they accused this person of being they accuse this person of being that and that's why i talk about it they accuse this person of being that and they got them banned they got them suspended after suspension after the feelings of being hurt after the feelings of you know wanting to uh, seppuku, uh, game end, whatever you want to call it. And they're pregnant, by the way. So after having all this happen to them, they finally decided that they are going to be graduating. Now, this is the stream that they're having right now. And um, they're doing, I guess, a little bit of, of uh, I don't know what they're doing, but yeah, this is the one that they're having. They're having, uh, I, I wish I could show you uh, something different. They are having a graduation stream. Mm, but hell they're you they're Y'all just rolling talking. on the floor. With everybody, you know, they're doing the VC things, they're doing all that kind of stuff. And let's take a look at what they've been doing recently when it comes to their content, if they have any. Uh, no videos found. So they have removed everything. Uh, Lily Ricor, Lily, Lil Ricor has removed everything uh, in their, they don't have any schedule. They just says streams just chatting. They don't have anything on their channel. They have scrubbed everything from what they do. Of course, right now they're doing a little bit of, you know, uh, whatever you want to call it, fan service, whatever it is, uh, giving their, their fans a little bit of the last bits of it before they leave. But yes, they are doing a graduation stream where they're doing some karaoke. They're doing some other things. They have marked it as proper for, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, it is sad to see this happen. No matter the content that someone wants to create, no matter what they want to do, you do not go and harass them in this way. You are scum if you go and try to harass them this way, because that's just not the right way to do things. That's not how you do things. That's not how things are done. You just don't go and do this. And that's why I want to mention it, because, you know, if you guys want to support, you can go and check them out. Uh, but after today, they're probably just going to not be streaming anymore. They have a discord and all that kind of stuff where you can go and check out what they're going to be doing and check out what's going to be going on. But I just wanted to bring attention again that she is graduating today. Uh, it is unfortunate because it was a path that she has chosen. She wanted to be a creator, just like me, just like anyone else. And because of bullies, she has to leave. A small update for any of those who are wondering what's going on with Sayu, what is happening on Sayu's end. Uh, we have it right here. Today's stream was so fun, and I hope you all know how amazing and powerful you are. So she's pushing positivity towards her your fans as well. Uh, because it was you guys that put me in such a good mood. That'll get me through anything and everything tonight. Thank you for all you do. That was, you know, as of this morning in Pacific Standard Time uh, in you know, Sayu right here saying she knows she's very happy. I'm very glad. I'm very glad that she got that. Thank you to Sayu. Yesterday wasn't what I hoped it would be. But your streaming always makes me feel everything is okay. Extremely powerful person. That power rubs out onto us. We're here for you and you're here for us. Let's continue pushing forward. Love you, Mayoshi. Love Sayu. Um, you know, it's like, no you. The reverse Uno cards. All these types of things. Just the positivity that this community is giving to Sayu is amazing because she deserves it. After everything that she's experienced in her past, which she is no longer that person anymore, but everything that she has experienced in her past is something that she deserves to forget. It deserves to just be forgotten and pushed aside and be like, you are you now, and you are not the person that you were at that uh, black company. You are not the person that you were back then that, you know, got you all that dislike. You are new. You are you. You're Sayu. You've been going at it for over a year after you left that place. They should just move on, honestly, but not everyone will, unfortunately. But that's why I keep pushing these uh, positive messages that she's pushing out 
because I want people to understand she's moving on. She has great people around her. If you don't like her, just move on yourself. Has a bit of a conversation about what's going on with Noah Talents. This is the agency that she is going to be going to, and she is making sure to protect herself a lot. So let's see what goes on. You know, I think they're they're great to learn. They're quick to learn things, and they're very uh, you know nice people. But uh, you know the the fact of like at first they were like oh yeah we don't need a PR team, and then I was like and, and then when basically things went very poorly. Oh no. Because oh, no. the market is navigated differently. Yeah. Then they learned they need a PR team. And now now I'm like, I don't want to say it's too late. She may be too deep um, in. She may be too deep in. Because here's the thing. She may you be know, in too everyone deep. Everyone can make, you know, everyone, uh, there's a lot of times where people can fix things and, yes. you know, stuff can get better. But I am very tired of starting at a negative. I'm I can very, understand. I'm very, very that. tired of that. I can, I can understand that. Absolutely. So it's just, yeah, it's just very, very hard to, to be like, man so that's the thing that's frustrating for me is just like I, anytime i try to like put like faith or trust into things that are new or things that are different um it always ends up kind of rough and so it's just it's just very frustrating for me because i'm used to things going very poorly whenever i put my trust into something and that's not fair it's not fair to her that you know so that's, that's just, it's just that that was just very frustrating for me because i'm like seeing these things unfold and i'm like i don't like seeing confidence where confidence isn't due you know ah, it was okay. like they were they were very confident. They're overconfident. And they were like, yeah, we're ready to enter the, the global sphere. And then things are just going so poorly that I'm like, I don't want to, you know, I don't feel safe yeah, <laughs> with what's happening. Absolutely. And I'm just like, yeah. She doesn't deserve that. She doesn't. And she doesn't deserve- It's okay, Rogue. I appreciate that. It's it's not that it's not going to, like, I'm, I'm waiting to see. I'm waiting to see how things go. Okay, she's waiting I'm to waiting see. I'm waiting to see how things go. But there is like a time limit to these kinds of things, you know? Absolutely. So that's the thing. It's just the, what's- How long can What the struggle wait? is, is that, I think what's also frustrating is that the global market for VTubing and for entertainment is very volatile. It's, it is super I'm, volatile. It's actually kind of nice that in like other countries, it's simpler, right? It's simpler, it's easier. But like, if you make one mistake in, in the global sphere of VTubing, you know, because we're so used to companies failing and companies making mistakes and companies, you know, not knowing what they're getting into and not knowing how to manage things. We're so used to seeing that in the English sphere that the moment we see one mistake, it's over. You know, we, we condemn oh, yeah. them and it's pretty much just over. I'm yeah, also very used to that. that. Yeah, um, and so that's why it's just kind of rough to think like, oh, I don't know if this can be fixed. Not because of me and my uh, thoughts or rules, but because of what we've, what the community thinks, right? What fans think. And that's the big thing. She has to, because of the fact that she's already dealt with a lot of bad, rabid, nasty parts of the VTuber sphere because of the global aspect that she had with Nidhi Sanji when she was a part of it and how much they destroyed her, her PR, her who she was her brand when they removed her when they terminated her and it still haunts her today i'm glad that she is taking a lot of precautions i'm glad that she's doing a wait and see approach i do feel it will go well for her eventually but noah talent as she is saying is a little too overconfident because they've been doing well in china they're a little too overconfident about the world sphere and they are learning harsh lessons because of what's recently been happening with as i mentioned before they let go of a talent and then they slandered them and then now they had to walk it back so that kind of stuff maybe can go well in china because you know they aren't going to be challenged but in the on the outer sphere if you're part of a company that is seen negatively in the world sphere then you yourself are going to be seen negatively and that is not what anyone wants for sayu anyone who follows her i'm a follower of sayu i just mentioned this just being openly and honest with that I wish her the best always. I wish any creator the best always, whether I follow them or not. Uh, but in this type of situation, it is very good that she's waiting and seeing because she could be stepping on a humongous landmine with going with NOA Talents, the uh, the one that, well, Hollow Life is already going with them. Mythic Talent is already going with them. So it's a wait and see because she has her brand that she has to protect. This is a brand that she herself has pushed up. See, she herself has gotten to the heights that it is. Her and her fans brought her there, and she does not want them to be brought down again. Hello, everyone. Welcome again. We have Doki merch. Doki has at the ACGHK booth, uh, F36. We're looking into future sales for overseas dragoons who can't make it. It's still so unreal to be a guest and selling merch at this convention. Since this is the first ever con I've ever been growing, I've ever been to growing up. And here you have the. Uh, damn, it's a really nice acrylic stand. I like that. It's like 3D-ish. That's very nice. It has depth to it. Very nicely done. Then you have this one, Doki Bird Hong Kong. Uh, kind of like a little Twitter thingy. A little, uh, very nice. Doki Tummy, you have a Doki Bird bag. And you have, ooh, a foil. It looks like, ooh, very nice. 
Very nice. That is, that's like, that's better than what Niji Sanji does as well. Holy crap. That's doing better than what Niji Sanji does. And, um, you know, this is the full uh, look of, you know, everything that they have here. A big uh, colored proper uh, 2.0 version. All these things, the acrylic stand, the uh, acrylic card, the acrylic uh, block, the full block of acrylic. It's just, it's doing very well. Fan meeting in Hong Kong coming soon, and it is already there. It already was done, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's going to be, ah, 728, so it is coming soon. It's actually coming soon, or is being done currently, because Southeast Asia has different time zones, so it may be done by the time you uh, see this. But yeah, she's going to be there at ACGHK, one of her childhood conventions that she used to go to in hong kong and it says all hong kong themed merch all five days booth f36 panel meeting main stage get free front row ticket with merch first time comes first serve uh free ticket with merch bundle first come first serve that's very nice that that actually makes people want to buy your stuff and here's people actually having the merch close to them it's very nice they're, they're already getting a lot of a lot of uh proper enjoyment out of everything that's going on and I'm very happy for her. Next, we have a little bit of an update with the wonderful, hardworking, and very, very uh, funny little mouse around here. Little demon, Iron Mouse. She was able to do... <clears throat> I can't, of course, put the music because you know what it means. But, um, yep, Dancing with Callie. It's Callie's new song, by the way. I find I'm mistaken. Yep, I believe it is. And, um, yep, it is. it is her new song. And, of course, knowing... The Universal Music Group Japan really is rough on all that stuff, on making sure that uh, the copyrights go hard. But, you know, good job, Iron Mouse. Glad that they were able to do this. And of course, Video Kelfish, Model Jinomu, Song Go-Getters by Mori Kaliope. And you have everyone saying here. Of course, what I love this. Hell yeah, guys, Slay. Um, Miss Lala's doing these things. Mori Kaliope is saying it, finally dancing together with Oshi. Is this dream come true? I like how this is formatted from From Soft Game Message. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, hell yeah. Yep. There she is. Dancing together with Oshi. Very fun. I love that. Uh, Mori, Mori is very good at that. Mori always responds to whenever she can. She responds to things like this. And she makes sure to, you know, be a positive person in the VTuber community. Exactly like how Iron Mouse is. Iron Mouse is a very positive person person in the community uh she is a inspiration to a lot of people that have uh medical conditions that may prevent them from moving around may prevent them from being as mobile as they want or as active as they want her immunodeficiency uh situation makes it so that she can't really go out very much uh, we all know the story by now but look at her she worked from the bottom all the way to the top to where she is now she continues working hard with like 10, 12 hour streams sometimes. Even if she's feeling not so good, she just chills and relaxes and vibes with her community and just, you know, makes them enjoy themselves, brings that laughter, brings that fun to them. And this isn't just me like, ah, you know, like being, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's a, it's a VTuber uh, from an agency like the Shoujo. No, just looking at her, even from the bottom, look at when she started. She started with, I believe, a free model and then she moved her way up. It was insane how she got this way. It is, you know, also an inspiration to a small VTuber like myself, you know, wanted to get a little bit more of a community going. It is just work hard, uh, of course, be entertaining, and then something will pop up eventually. Another fun little uh, video that we're just going to watch from here of the spin. Oh, this is this is a, a copywritten song. Sorry. <laughs> that little that that song, if you know, she's doing the spinny spins. Of course, the farmers are like, what the hell? Uh, <laughs> all the Doki Bird styles, the um, Dragoons are like, what the heck is going on? Why is she flying? Why is she flying? But here we have the, the, the Doki Bird spins. Oh, God, there's too many Dokis. There's too many Dokis. A little bit of a meme here <laughs> at this point. Holy crap, they memed it up. They definitely memed it up. Gotta love the Doki memes. Gotta love the, the creativity that people have with the Doki memes. We have some good news in this case. The former Rai is getting... Uh, Lunalia from V4 Mariah is getting their 3D debut on August 3rd of 2024, nearly five months since their debut. Uh, that's pretty freaking fast. That's even faster than what Hololive does. Let's just be honest here. Hololive doesn't move that fast. Large agencies like that do not move anywhere near that fast. So that's that's like a wow type of thing. It's definitely a wow type of thing. Um, I'm glad that they're going to be able to get it. And let's take a look at their teaser. Hopefully this isn't copywritten the song itself. It is a long teaser, so I'm gonna I'm gonna skip through it. Oh, oh, there. 
Ah, I have, I have raided her before. Dr. Nova, I've raided her before. I love that. I love that. Her test subjects are gonna love that. That's amazing. Of course, of course, Dr. Nova's gonna be that way. We have Rem. Kanaba, Kanashibari. Ren Kanashibari. I don't think I've watched Ren before. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I don't think I have. But oh my god, that is a very cute, that is a cute uh, 3D. And it looks like they're, um, they're 3D, uh, oh, their motion capture is gonna be good. Atlas, I don't know, Alias, I don't know, Alias, I don't know. I have watched them before. I've watched Alias before. Cause I, I wanted to watch like different ones. I watched, I think it, her, um, the ones that I watched more, I think are her uh, singing streams, her karaoke streams, I think. Ah, yes! Yuki, y yep. Yumi, Yumi the Witch. Yumi the Witch. I have watched Yumi the Witch before. Very entertaining. Yeah, they're all very entertaining. Of course, August 3rd to August 4th, as you can see right here. Good stuff. Congratulations to each and every one of them. They look amazing. They look really well done. Ah, uh, it looks like, you know, time and money has been poured into this, which is always good to see whenever you are a... Uh, independent VTuber or a VTuber that is a part of an agency like this, like this one specifically, V4 Mirai. If I'm not mistaken, V4 Mirai is under uh, Brave Group's management, like Brave Group's umbrella, if you want to, if you will, maybe not the management directly, but under Brave Group's umbrella, correct me if I'm wrong. They are doing better than some of these larger agencies out there, uh, maybe because they are, they have a little bit more capital to spend and they see that these types of things do help in promoting the talents. But congratulations to them. And of course, take a look if you wish. Next stage project, motion capture project, is going to be ceasing all activities. Uh, it says, next stage fans, we are sad to announce that due to circumstances ultimately beyond our control, next stage project will be ceasing all activities at the end of August. So they give you a month. Ayla and Zuni will continue streaming independently. We dearly hope that you all continue to follow and support them as independent VTubers. We are proud of what we've been able to do with next stage project and we're sad to see it end. We're extremely thankful to everyone who stuck with us on this journey. Sometimes things go wrong. Sometimes things go really wrong. Sometimes things just change. And sometimes they have to end. Anyway, don't be sad it's over. Be happy you got to see us try to, or something. I don't know. Just be happy. <laughs> Please support Ayla and Zuni. So it looks like it's it's a a good, uh, like a happy, well, not, it's, a, it's a bittersweet thing. But at least they're doing something positive. It says right here. Someone says it's not surprised they're running on fumes. They, they lost two out of five of their talents right after debut. Another due to outside circumstances not long after. I'm more surprised they lasted as long as they did. They probably don't have as much income and they probably weren't able to get capital funding, which is important for small organizations like this. Lack of proofreading and tone on the shutdown announced is a little weird, but I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Um, and definitely sudden announcement, Zuni and Ayla have made streams on what will happen. They say that what's gonna happen here. I wanna give you all the news before I look at next stage and everything that they do. They'll be keeping the rights to their models, including 3D models, which is amazing. Zuni is going to be going through a slight rebrand after August 21st, after which she'll be more focused on music and does plan to upload covers and stuff on the channel. Sounds like he will not have regular streaming schedule after the rebrand, but he'll be still around and plan to stream from time to time. Ayla will be continuing as an indie. Seeing as she's a part of VSMP, the VSMP server that popped in, imagine it won't be too hard for her to see her around. VODs will remain on their channels, including after Zuni's rebrand. Even with Zuni's planned rebrand, collabs between Zuni and Ayla are still on the table. This is Next Stage Project here. It is sad, but I do commend them. I absolutely commend them for going the proper route of allowing their VTubers to continue on independently. This is amazing. This, if they ever want to come back, this is going to mean that they're going to be coming back with open arms. But let's check what they were doing. Next stage project, motion capture. They were doing, you know, next steps. Uh, talk about next steps to indie life. Uh, they were, you know, doing Zuni stuff. Uh, Zuni Excel. You know, they, they tried. They tried to do something. Um, Ayla playing some crazy crab games. You know, doing all these types of things. It's just, they did their best. But of course, it is a tough world out there. And it is very hard for them to do anything. Let's go a little bit here. I think I can give those things up. Uh, those are things that will continue to stay true. Even if I wasn't, um, even if I'm not streaming as regularly, I will continue to make music a part of my life. Okay, so that's them saying this. This is Ayla. Also, yes, I do get to keep uh, the 3D model. So she said it herself. Keep basically, everything that we've created through Next Stage is going to be 
uh, available for me to use. That is amazing. That is what I wanted to hear. That is amazing. They both get to hear it. Hear it from their own mouse, not just from some PR thing. Hear it from their own mouse. They're going to get to keep everything. And I wish them both lots of good fortune in the future because it is very tough being an indie. And boy, do I know that. But yeah, I wish them the best. Everybody will back with uh, Nico Nico. If you all remember, Nico Nico had been hit with a seemingly like a denial of service or some kind of a remote access issue where someone remotely accessed their stuff and kind of made it so that they no longer could do things as uh nico nico and that is one of those things that is unfortunate they had to shut down in order to be able to re-establish everything it says due to the outage occurred early in the early morning of saturday june 8th nico nico services have been unavailable for a while they said it was going to be until august i believe uh currently working on restoring services but in advance of the restoration we would like to inform you details have been finalized regarding the compensation for june july and august which have been causing concern for a lot of users. So for premium memberships, automatically refunded. You don't have to do anything. Everything's automatically refunded. You don't have to cancel or anything like that. The monthly memberships fee for the period you were unable to use the service or your payment method. With credit card, D-payment, Docomo, EAU, Easy Payment, SoftBank, LinePay, PayPal, Payd, all that kind of stuff. You paid using the following methods. We're unable to refund you automatically due to our payment system. So we will remit the amount equivalent to the monthly membership fee for the period you were unable to service it. We'll contact you as soon as re remittance is ready. So they're just going to send you, basically like pay you for that time. Instead of doing a refund, which is easily done with all these, Google, Android, etc. For these down here, they have to actually send you money for what you, you've done. This is hot off the presses, of course. This is just today. Um, not be able to contact those, meaning the following conditions. Create a new Nico Nico account between June 7th and the time of the incident. Uh, if you paid monthly premium membership via Apple iOS, web money, or Mori Tapo between uh, 2106 on June 7th. It probably has something to do from when the things are actually processed. Kind of works weird that way, I'm guessing. For the annual premium memberships. Um, if you pay the following methods, <clears throat> no action needs to be taken. Everything's going to be automatically refunded. For the amount equivalent, so they're going to prorate you. If you have an annual membership, they're going to prorate you for the three months. So they're going to give you a quarter of what you had given them back. They're going to give it back to you. So one fourth of what you have, which would be the three months uh, for the annual membership, the three months of, of the of the annual membership is a quarter. That's just how you know percentages work. They are going to be giving you that back as a refund. If you have paid using the following methods, they are just going to basically give you remittances, so basically give you a payment back. They're going to pay you back for those three months instead of a refund. And again, they can't contact you based on the things before. The premium tickets and premium membership gifts. Uh, premium tickets, but I've not yet started using, will be it will be able to start using them again after the Nico Nico thing has happens. So if you had uh, a premium ticket, but were unable to use it, it's still going to work. It's not only just going to work for June, it's going to work for when they get it back. So if it was something for like the premium ticket for something happening in June, doesn't matter because that, that was technically canceled with Nico Nico. So now you're going to be able to get that back. So yeah. Uh, consideration of time period, customers who have already used the premium tickets were premium members at the time of failure will reissue the premium tickets. So that even if you used it, if it was at the time of failure, you're going to be getting that back. So yeah, the premium ticket, 60 days, 90 days, all those you're going to be getting back. Pay channel monthly memberships. Again, um, they're automatically refund when they can, if you've used the payment methods that they mentioned. Uh, use free period under the campaign. We plan to cancel the first charge. Oh, the first time, like if you used a free, like one month subscription like one month free and then you get charged afterwards they're not going to charge you for the months that were you know they're going to cancel those charges so everything pay-per-view anything you pay for pay-per-view is going to be refunded nico nico channel plus monthly plan also going to be refunded all these things three month plan is going to be refunded with credit card or paypal if you've used automatic renewal timing did not occur when the outage occurred the resumption of service at the resumption of service everything will be continued if it has been done before like for example if it renewed and then the things went bad on the same day you're going to get everything automatically refunded. If it didn't, then it's just going to start off when it was done. And uh, basically, it's going to be, the, they're going to, in this one, instead of paying you back, they're going to extend the membership by the amount that you missed. So the three-month plan, if you had it for June, July, August, they're going to expand it, expand it to August, September, November. August, August, September, October. Holy crap. I forgot. August, September, October. I forgot a freaking month. Holy crap. There we go. But yeah, if you have all these, they're going to do that. Uh, rental plans. Again, refunding customers of these of these people here after the res services resume, they're going to extend the viewing period for the number of days equivalent to the time period that they were gone. So they're going to extend the pay-per-view stuff. Preparatory school, same thing. It's going to be refunded on these payment methods. 
I just want everyone to get everything. That's why it's taking so long. I apologize. iOS is going to be, they're going to have to update you eventually. And support a creator, same things. Everything you were doing to support a creator, if they didn't get it because of the things that are happening, um, viewing tickets, everything is going to be refunded. They're going through everything. Advertising gifts, all those are going to be, be refunded. Uh, like if you paid for it and weren't advertised, uh, on on the you know for for the month you're just gonna start when when the new when everything starts it's gonna start for August September October uh you know it's gonna start for that uh, Nico Nico ads with the remaining advertising period everything's gonna start over same thing with gift periods Nico Nico points are going to be credited for the time that that um they were not properly credited so since it was three months that you didn't get Nico Nico points you're gonna get those three months back those three months are gonna be there even if your points were going to expire. You're going to be extended. It's going to be extended and a refund for any points unused that you, if you want the refund, you know, all these things are going to be done. It's perfect. It is really good for the operators of Nico Nico channels and Nico Nico channel. Plus we are in a compensation for channel owners. We have sent detailed explanation to the email address that you have. So you've already been contacted. If they haven't been contacted, then this, of course, they support things below. Uh, this is really great from a uh, Nico Nico. It's really good. It is necessary for something like this to happen because you can't have just sudden random, you know, things like this happen sudden things that are out of your control and then all of a sudden you're you're sol because you know you're not nico nico welcome back everybody to another vtuber showcase where i try to give back to the community who has given so much to me the vtuber community and try to be a positive part of it by showcasing vtubers that i've seen that i can you know find and that are worth a look Every single VTuber is worth a look, and I am just a small squirrel, so I can't see every single one of them, but I try to give something out there. Today we have Cinnabon VTuber, uh, Cinnabon VT, who, you know, is posting Once Human stream. They did Once Human. This is the look of their avatar, and we are going to take a look at their about section. It says, Cindy, aka Cinnabon, a vampire with a major sweet tooth and a strong distaste for blood. I use alchemy to turn blood into sugar. My mainly... Uh, play MMOs they mainly are playing MMOs and survival games once human was the survival game uh, seven days to die is another one they play they played you know dead by daylight things like that so it's a lot of fun uh, games that they have out there of course and it says activity active community discord with weekly events for any business inquiries please go to you know that email we're not doing business inquiries here but we're taking a look at their content this is their full channel here they did re-rising final fantasy and once human recent and right here we have their uh Whoa! Oh, oh no, he got taken. Poor sin. Oh, Oof. Sorry, Oof. Run! Behind run! you! Oh no. Oh, ba oh, oh no. Broke the neck. I would suggest you leave. Leave now. Leave ah! now. <laughs> they got a triple boys <laughs> baby got a triple got a triple yeah those those are always fun those type of things are fun and that's why i wanted to showcase it showcase them uh they are someone that i watch on occasion and i have rated recently i wanted to kind of have a little bit of a moment to showcase them because you know they've been kind to me want to be kind back and the vtuber community has been kind to me and i want to be kind in return thank you so much of course down below in the both the pinned comment and the description is going to be the form for any VTubers, anyone who wants to be showcased on my channel, no matter the size, you could have two followers, 200 followers or more. It doesn't matter the size. If you want to be showcased on my channel, the form is going to be down below. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.